Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Welcome if you are new. Welcome to the channel. For those who are new, my name is Zaire and this is my channel, Multi Layered. Um, yeah, it's been a couple of weeks. I think, yeah, a couple of weeks since I last filmed my, my, my last video. And I haven't, like, sat down. Like, I haven't seen, you haven't seen my face in a good minute. So, had to come back. And I also want to update you guys, like, what I've been doing in those two weeks that I've been away. And, like, that time you haven't seen my face. And I am excited to say that I could add web designer to my repertoire now. So, long story short, Holy Spirit just linked. I had a, like, divine connection with a sister in Christ here on YouTube. Her name is Paris Mays, and I'm going to put her channel up here. And like, that's like a whole nother testimony, a whole nother just God move. But like, I'm not gonna focus on it right now. Maybe like God will have me speak about it in the future. But for now, yeah, long story short, like I created her website and I'm gonna show you guys over here what it looks like. And to be quite honest, it was all Holy Spirit. Like I just showed up and like just did what he did, what he told me to do, cause I was stumped. Um, and I just, it's very interesting how God is like stretching me in different ways and like different avenues. And it's kind of cool. And to add to that, uh, Paris, like her website is for um, basically life coaching, like just ministering to people, helping people in Christ, especially women in Christ, navigate certain situations navigate singleness nav navigate um their wilderness also like just just regular day-to-day -day, um things and if you're like that's not your thing but you want to be a life coach or you feel led to like be a life coach to other people like she also like certifies people to be life coaches as well so two for one special i'm letting you guys know that i am now a web designer and if you are interested in getting a website created by me, let me know. I'm going to put my, my email in the description box below. And I'm also going to put Paris's website below. And like click it, check it out, and like book her. But like, yeah, before we get into the video, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you turn on your bell notifications so that you're notified when I upload. And now we're just going to get into the video. This video just came about like yesterday <clears throat> and with all the things that are happening the good things that are happening in my life there's also been a lot of like resistance and spiritual warfare and just like <sighs> tribulation like and I just remembered yesterday I was just calling out to God and just like why like why are certain things like simple things why do they feel like they're so challenging and there's so much resistance behind it and i just it was just like to me it just i was just feeling frustrated because i feel like like the normal things that people would accomplish like the normal timelines and normal time frames like that joint don't apply to me like like i have to prepare myself i feel like i have to prepare myself not all the time, but a good, decent amount of time for, like, warfare behind it and resistance. And I was just like, Father God, like, I am get, I feel like I'm getting treated as if I'm being disobedient to you. Like, I feel like the way the resistance, the way I'm, like, I feel like I have to wait for your intervention to, to happen in, in these scenarios. It feels like you would think that I... I don't, I don't, I'm not faithful to you. I don't follow your word. I'm not obedient. I don't seek your face. Like, it really feels like, why? Like, it's just like, it feels like the more I seek your face, the, the more resistance I get. And I was just like, you know what, Jesus? Like, I'm going to give you the, the floor to speak to me. So, I gave him like a couple of minutes, I believe seven, seven minutes to just speak to me, seven or eight. And I just sat in silence. And all I could literally hear in that period of silence was this song is like anointing fall on me. And then like, I just heard that song over and over and over. And I was just like, okay, maybe you're speaking to speaking this to me, Jesus. Like, 
And then I decided to like type up the, the song and look up the lyrics. So I'm reading the lyrics. I'm like, okay, bet, bet. And then I click back out, back to the whole web page of the like the Google search. And then I saw that TD Jakes wrote a book with this like title, like with the same title as that song. And it's an anointing fall on me. And then I clicked on that book and then it was on Amazon. And the book was also um, linked to other books he wrote, like that had like similar, what is it? Like similar, like synopses, synopses, I don't know the word, but it has similar summaries, like similar, similar content matter. And it was called Why? It was titled Why? Because You're Anointed. And I was just like, wow, like that literally like stood out to me like that that the title itself. So I clicked on it and I read, and mind you, these books were like written back in 08. Like I'm gonna get the correct date, but it was back in the day. So I click on it and then like, I read the synopsis and it's, and it's just like literally, like I feel like the questions I was asking God, like it was answering my question. Why Why do simple things have to to be challenged or so feel like they're ch they're they're harder for me and in that moment Jesus was answering me he was like it's because you're anointed and it was like a hard pill to swallow and I'm not even gonna hold you like even before filming this video I'm just like God like it just feels like like the 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 what I gotta go through to get on the other side or re, re, reap rewards. It just seems like that's not like the average the average process for a person. So I was just sitting on it. Like I literally was just sitting on that revelation and sitting in it. And like I was just like you know like you hear it, but your heart still it hurts because of the pain that you have to go through, the trials and tribulations, like. It literally feels like you're getting punished for being obedient to God. And yeah, like I feel like a, a scripture that really like God pl placed on my heart in that moment. And it, ke it kept on like, I kept on running back to it. And it was, uh, it was a scripture in Isaiah. It was Isaiah 53. It's speaking about, it's Isaiah, it's in the Old Testament. And he's prophesying like Jesus coming to the earth and also the life that he would live, well, actually the death that he would ha have to go through for uh, for us. And Isaiah 53, 10, it says, yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him and him is Jesus. He have put him, so he is the Lord, Father God, have put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. But I just want to like, like focus in on it pleased the Lord to bruise him. And that just kept on replaying in my mind. Like it pleased God to bruise Jesus. It pleased God to have Jesus leave glory with him in heaven. To come down to this earth. To suffer the death that he did for no reason, not no reason, but without, without like just cause, like just cause, meaning he didn't, he didn't deserve the suffering that he went through. And that's just like, it was like, it was just like such a paradox. Like I was just like really like trying to wrestle with that. It's good that I am afflicted. It's good that Jesus suffered the, de the death that he did. And that was God wanted to be reconciled with his, his creations so that we could be sons and daughters. And I was just like, oh, I hear you, God. I hear you, God, but this still hurts. I hear you, God, but this still hurts. And something that God is teaching me in this season of, of testing, I would say tribulation, a trial, is that... In the kingdom of heaven, kingdom of God, suffering holds a different place than in the world stand on the in, in comparison to the world standard. And in the world standard, it's like suffering, like you're thinking like you did something wrong, you doing you doing something wrong, like 
there's no way you should be like suffering like this and you following God. Like you're doing something wrong. But like something I've learned just walking in the season is that suffering like outside, like, and this is like outside the implication of sin. It is a vehicle that God uses to reward us in the kingdom of heaven, in heaven and here on earth. Yeah, like if you look at the greats in the Bible, like Old and New Testament, like if you look at the story of Joseph, you look at the story of David, you look at the story of Esther, you look at the story of like Nehemiah and Ezra, and um, just like even some of the kings, like you look at study the 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 um the life of Hezekiah, King Hezekiah, like these people were not perfect by any means. But it's clear that they had a relationship with God and they prioritized being obedient to God. And although they were prioritizing being obedient to God, trials came and they got tested greatly. Like, Daniel? You would have thought the way he was getting tested and tried, he like he was disobedient. Um, but in the kingdom of heaven, I see that the suffering... It, it serves as a as a vehicle to 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 purify you and to anoint you to grace you for for the next thing to come and if you see it in these in the scriptures you look at uh daniel especially the book of daniel i feel like that's my favorite book in the bible right now if you look at even joseph's story david's story the the tribulations prepared them for where they were heading the tribulations prepared joseph to be second in command to the the to pharaoh of um over egypt the the tribulation like it trained david to be king over israel all of israel you being a king is not light work it's like a dance it's like the tribulation it comes because you're anointed and it also anoints you or graces you more for what is to come. And something that I, I saw this, like I looked up the word anointed and a scripture that I saw this in was Luke. And it was like Luke 4, 18. And in this scripture, like Jesus was just, let me, let me find it first. Jesus like done finished getting tested, right? Done finished getting tempted in the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights. And he defeated Satan with the word of God. And right after he had that, 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 that trial or tribulation, he went to the synagogues and he opened the, the book. And I believe it's in the book of Isaiah. And he preached this, right? He said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospels to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of the sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. So there, like, I didn't even notice that. Like, I didn't even, that wasn't even in my notes, but like, you see there's a, there's a correlation. The, 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 the testing, the crushing, the pressing, the pressure, the resistance, it prepares you for where you're, it actually propel you it propels you for where you're going. And because of it, it, it anoints you. And I looked up the word anoint in this in this context, anointed. And I looked it up in the Greek. And that word is cryo in Greek. Girl, I don't cryo. And it means to consecrate by anointing. And I looked into the exhaustive def definition. And it says to... Smear or rub with oil by implication to consecrate to an office or religious service. So long story short, like we get anointed by God. Like the, the we get smeared with oil or rub with oil, right? And that's just literally a, a physical representation of Holy Spirit resting upon us and gracing us to do things, great things, great works on this earth for the kingdom of heaven. And I remember when I went to Millions Conference, the, like Tiffany said this, and I never thought about this, Tiffany Montgomery. And she said like, think about it. Imagine if you smear something with oil, like something that was hard to move now becomes 
like smooth it's like easier to move you move with ease and it's just like i'm learning that you get pressed you get pressed so that you are able to move in the grace that holy spirit has for you you get pressed refined like crushed essentially so that holy spirit can um can can move even more mightily over you um in your life and over your yeah over you and um i thought it was just like sheesh like i hear you god like i hear you that's beautiful and it's just like it's just like trying to make 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 sense of this pain and tribulation and it's just like retraining your mind to not think in the world standard but to think like set your th mind on things above which is the kingdom of god and in the kingdom of god tribulation outside of the the, the implication of sin it's seen as a as a, as a as a blessing or an honor because now you are being refined in the crucible of your faith refined in the crucible of those trials and tribulations so that you can be used for a more mighty work and uh for, for more mighty work here on this earth by the leading of the holy spirit things that you you once didn't have the ability to do like you are now like graced by the holy spirit to do with ease and it's just trying to come to like <laughs> the 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 not the surrender I guess the surrender but just the receiving in the heart that take heart that these trials and tribulations come because it is producing fruit within you and the oil the oil of the Holy Spirit is being like released over your life through the crushing and through the pressing and I just think about it you just think about olive oil and you cannot have olive oil without the olives being crushed. Like if you look at, go get a grab, grab a, um, a, a bottle of olive oil in your house and look at the front of it. It's probably going to say like cold press or something like that. And press like those, I don't know the exact like process, but I know like some olives are getting pressed. And isn't it interesting that in order to, to to release this this oil that is like really beneficial for us like useful like it has to be crushed like the 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 that state that it's in right now as an olive it's not it hasn't reached its fullest potential um uh, fullest potential as an oil un, un, unless you crush it and uh, the same thing applies to us like there's a certain aroma there's a certain like a certain level of surrender, a certain level of a this certain place of heart, like a certain heart posture that would not be released to God unless we go through the crushing. And the fact that he trusts us with the crushing is kind of like, okay, okay all right you trust me enough to go through this process because you 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 trust me that i won't fold or deny your name and it's just like just trying to look at things and teach myself and train myself to think of things um from heaven's perspective as opposed to this earthly realm because girl and guys i was like i was like god like i'm over this i feel like i'm over this i was crying and I wouldn't say I'm completely like, yeah, like, Father God, it's good that you flick me. Like, I'm just like, okay, God, I'm here to hear you out. But I just wanted to, like, bring this video to those who, who this video is for. Like, you've been asking and crying out to God, like, why have you been going through all this trial and tribulation? Why are you not intervening in my, in my life? Why are you bearing along with me? Why you, why do I feel like I'm being, like, like, punished for being obedient to you like the answer is because you're anointed and i know it's not the best maybe it's not even like the thing you want to hear right now but there is a peace that comes knowing that you're in the will of god and i i pray that this video comes to those who who were in the same position as me like feeling like god where are you like am i doing something wrong like why 
and the answer is because you're anointed but take heart that you're still in his hand and this purpose although it looks ugly although it hurts although like it doesn't feel fair this purpose still is God of God and he's still going to get glory out of it he's still going to get glory out of your story and I also my, my, my clip was about to uh, cut off but I also want to speak to those who may not be saved and like you were able to like stick around and something resonated in your heart you felt it here in your heart like what I was saying like apply to you and I just want to say like you can be anointed even before like God knows your end from the beginning so he know knows you knows if he anointed you or not before you even said yes to him and I want to like implore you guys to like say yes to him and like basically call out to him and ask Jesus to help you in your pain in your tribulation like in all that stuff like just ask him to come into your life and help you um and I can only tell you like what I did and back in the day when right when I gave my life to Christ like I remember I was in my room and like these these thoughts were flooding literally flooding but they were flooding my mind and they were thoughts of like what is your purpose here on earth like what are you doing with your life like like you went to college for all those years and you still don't have a job like mind you guys I've been in this time I was unemployed for a good amount of time and I didn't have a job so I was feeling like what is my purpose here in life and it was almost leaning it was very close to leaning to suicidal ideation and it scared me so what I did like I literally said Jesus help me and I kid you not like those thoughts in my head like got swiped away literally swiped away and after that I decided to follow Jesus and I feel like if you are in a situation where you're going through tribulations and you don't have Jesus like as your foundation like you don't have him in your life to help you traverse through those tribulations I'm just saying take it from me I've been there I've done that and I'm just saying like it's a lot easier doing it with Jesus and you could do the same and after I like after I called on Jesus and he, he healed my mind I was like I'm following him and I just decided to pray to him pray to God like day in day out like daily I made it a, my mission to pray to him and then I also made it my mission to read his word and I started with the New King James Bible and I just started reading and if you want to know more about Jesus and what he did and why did he come to this earth and what was his purpose here on earth you could go and start in John and that's the gospel that's the New Testament and then I'm pretty sure if you open your heart to Jesus he would he will open himself up to you and Holy Spirit that's the Spirit of God will give you understanding and also lead you into all truth so yeah that is my spiel Thank you guys for watching till the end. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if it resonated. Um, yeah, but I'm going to see you guys in the next one. All right.